Yo, what up, guys? Old Snap is here today, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your perfect pet. All right, guys, and I'm gonna be showing you guys a bunch of the cool stuff, and you know all that kind of steps that leads to your perfect uh, pet. You know what I'm saying? So I'm with my boy Bradley. All right. So now step one, guys. Step one is that you need snacks, mega snacks all right so how do you get mega snacks okay so I'm gonna show you guys how to get mega snacks all right you gotta need to start your own garden all right so if you wonder what kind of seeds do you need is you are gonna need couch potatoes or evil magma pea all right for me, in my opinion, I'm fine with just having uh, couch potato. Couch potato and evil magma seed are equally good, you know. So I prefer to just go for couch potatoes because they are easier for me to get. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to easily get um, couch potatoes. All right. Okay, now you want to come over here and use one of these teleportation we're gonna go to the the drug art fort all right you want to come over here and into these um grandor urchin all right they are easy to kill okay you can start doing this at level 60 guys all right so at level 60 you should be doing um a garden of you know couch potatoes you know what I'm saying you probably wonder why why don't I just go and you know farm the, the ice bear whatever the reason why is because I, I tried that and sometimes you know because the area is so huge and those uh, bear have to like walk around and all that and sometimes I go into a battle and only one bear show up you know and I gotta wait for the next turn but with these guys they automatically respawn all the time and all that and then you, I don't have that kind of problem you know what I'm saying so yeah so I, I, I recommend um, if you want the easiest way to get couch potato is definitely these guys you know what I'm saying yeah now let's go back oh yeah actually and and then you also want to get the red barn uh, form the reason why is because it's faster for uh, couch potatoes so let's go check out my farm right you also want to get these guys the litter and the sandwich station as well as as well as the uh, garden um, gnomi whatever technically what it does is that these stuff it helps reduces the time for your um, your seeds to get to elders where you can collect the, the final rewards and all that all right and also if you have a lot of energies and and when you don't train your pets or anything like that and you don't want your energy to go on waste you can um, start up uh, another um, garden all right so let's go to my other one so I did another garden in uh, island getaway So also started two two batch over here too. This is uh, the old version of stacking um couch potato. So technically I have four batch of 42. So yeah, this is what I do when I have a uh, you know when I'm not training my pads and uh, you know I have a lot of uh, extra energies. I, I don't want to go to waste. I do different gardens in uh, different places. So yeah, even with all these um couch potato farms and all that, my stack is only around like 300 or so. So yeah. I, I, I train a lot of pets. I do make a lot of new pets too. So, yeah, man. All right. So that's pretty much it for step number one. All right. All right, guys. Now we're gonna go back into the pet pavilion. And we're gonna be talking about step number two. All right. Okay. So for step number two, you need to get a good pet for for yourself. All right. A pet that will benefit you. All right. So for example. The Enchanted Armament, which gives you um, sharpened blades, 
three sharpen blades at um Mega. So yeah. And if you want an enchanted armament, you don't have to go and farm gladiator for the enchanted armament. You can come to the kids right here. Alright, so this is your best friend to get good pets. Alright. So if you go right here, balance pets, enchanted armament is a balanced pet. So just go to enchanted, it goes by uh, alphabetical order. So enchanted armament is right there. Ta da! Or you can go to, uh, you know, fire where it showcases all the fire pets and all that. Alright, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it for step number two. It's to get a pet that benefits you. Alright, now for step number three, you need to have good talents for your pet, guys. Alright, so to get good talents, you will have to search up talents that you want. Alright, so for example, no, actually, before that, you want to go here, search for pet talents right here, this little icon right here. And then, uh, let's say you didn't see that. <laughs> Woo! Alright, now, we're gonna find the talents, alright? So let's say that we are a fire, we want to have uh, fire talents, alright? So we're gonna look at fire. It said that we want fire asylum and we want like fire uh, dealer. And then once you search for all talents, which is all of these talents, pets that has uh, fire asylum and fire dealer will show up. Only those pets that has these talents will show up. All right. And then what this search for any of these talents, it means that any pets in this kiosk that has fire asylum or fire dealer, it will show up. All right. But if you want both of them to show up, you're gonna have to select search for all talents, alright? So as you can see, it shows um, fire asylum and fire deal, okay? So, yeah, so that's step number three, is to get the talents that you wanted, alright? Alright, now for step number four, in order for you to get the perfect pet, right? You're gonna need, you're gonna need them to have uh, at least maximum stats right here. As you can see, these are the the pet stats. All right. So, what it does is that by by having max stats on your pets, all right, um, it allows your talent, the talent, to be at its most, at its maximum value. You can say, or like you know, the best, or like the maximum. Whatever the max stats, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. For example, right? If you we look at the uh, more pets. Oh, oh okay. All right. So for example, this pet, right? So it has 234 strength and um, 241 intellect, 260, 259, 249, right? If you look at my uh, my pets, uh, 254. Let's say that I don't have thinking cap on, it's two, uh, 260. Alright, so if you look at the talents, alright, so if I give her 60% max, 5732, that's max, 60%, that's max for pink giver, 31 critical uh, rating, that's max, fire dealer is 9%, right? So the maximum value for a fire dealer is 10%. So you kind of want to have uh, near maximum stats to get the best outcomes of your talents, alright? So let's look for another example. Alright, so another example is this pet right here. You see these stats are not max, right? So if you look at fire sound, it's only 30. The maximum is 32. Critical striker, its maximum is 31. Critical hitter, the maximum is 23. Fire deal, the maximum is 10%. Uh, so if you want the perfect pet, you want to have at least uh, max um, stats on your pet, alright? Alright, now I'm gonna show you guys. Um, a trick or no a tip on how to determine how many um, how much stats you're gonna need on your pet to have uh, the best stats for your perfect pack you know what I'm saying so all right let me switch out windows and all that all right so hopefully this is good enough okay so what you want to do is you want to go on your browser go on Google and then look up on wizard 101 pet talent calculator right so we look at we're gonna go down to wizard 101 pet stats calculator right here this is the one that i'm using all right so it's right here it's very easy very friendly use and all that all right so i'm gonna show you guys an example all right all right we're gonna be using lord levi as the example so for strength 254 
Intellect 248, Agility 260, Will is 325, Power is 250. Now if you look over here at the outputs, right? So the inputs where you put in your stats and all that, and then the outputs what's gonna show you what you're gonna get, right? So if you look at the school dealer, right? It's 10.56, but keep in mind that they do these stats do um, round to a whole number. So instead of 10.56, it's gonna be 11%. All right. So we if we check here, the fire dealer is 11%. Now we're gonna look at um. Any school giver, such as a uh, fire giver and pain giver, right here, it's gonna be seven percent. It is seven percent. It's pretty accurate, you know what I'm saying. And then um, critical striker, it's thirty-four critical, thirty-four. Now school silent, it's thirty-six. So yeah. All right. So now that's how you um calculate how much uh stats that you are gonna need to uh, max out your talents all right it does work with selfish talents too so you know I did have to take a cap on so you can always calculate it with like you know selfish talents such as uh, mighty or technicians or relentless and all that kind of good stuff so this is a really really good and friendly use calculator you know what I'm saying yeah so that's just um so I just wanted to show you guys this in case you guys you know don't know or anything like that so yeah so that's pretty much it for step number four all right so yeah man which is the final step of how to get the perfect pet that you wanted all right all right so now let's return back to um the game all right all right so now that's pretty much it you know step one get some mega snacks step number two is find the pet that you want to train up Step number three, find the talents that you want to manifest into the pet that you wanted. And then step number four, which is the final steps, is to make sure that you have enough, enough stats on your talents, on your pet, to um, make sure that when it is at a mega or ultra, the stats are at a maximum um, values. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now, next, what I'm gonna show you guys is how many um, rehatch are you gonna need to hatch a pet for that perfect pet, right? Because a pet has two, four, six, eight, ten, ten talents, and you're only gonna need like at least five of the talents that you know you will really want to show up, right? So you're gonna do a lot of rehatch and all that and stuff, right? And then other than that, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to duplicate your your pet talents to uh, another pet and all that. All right. All right. Now let's say that I wanna uh, manifest these talents into a different pet. Right. I want all of these and all these stats to manifest into a different pet. All right. So let's say that I want it on my Velociraptor. Okay. So this is currently the second generation of Velociraptor. I did um, hatch it with. Um, my boy Voltus um Velociraptor's uh, first generation. So how does um how does ma manifestation works is that uh every time you rehatch there are a chance that these talents get um, manifested over to um to these guys to these talents and then these talents has a chance of um, increasing it, it can never decrease all right so it's always uh, increasing so a few things to keep in mind is that to make sure that the talents role are the same as the pet that you wanted, right? And then other, the other thing is that you want all the, ta uh, the the stats to be exactly the same as the stats on Lord Levi. You know what I'm saying? All right. If you are confused, definitely um, comment down below any question that you have. Then the next thing you want to do is to have at least close to the same pedigree. Right here, it's called the pedigree. And then what pedigree means is that it just means that um, technically the you see these little dots, all these little dots will add up to uh, 67, all right? So you know three plus three plus four plus three, yeah, you know you, you get what I'm trying to say. So all of these little dots add up to 67. So you know you want to have like a very similar pedigree as the pet that you're hatching with. So. Yeah, that's pretty much what pedigree means. My first hatch with the Velociraptor, it didn't go too well. Obviously, you know, you you won't get the perfect pet on the first hatch, 
Alright, so I then after that I rehatch and then I got um my boy Mr. Coco. Now the thing that you wanna keep in mind again is the the talents ro uh orders and roads and all that. So we're gonna compare that to um so thinking cats right here. Thinking cats should be right there. So it is not the same yet. And then we look at the stats. It did increase. All right, now for my third hatch, I got um large Stella. And if you look here, um, Pegri did drop down, but it's fine. If you look here, um, Thinky Cap. It's at the right spot. Also got the critical striker right there, as you can see. Oh yeah, and um, keep in mind that when you're rehatching, you want to use the pet from the previous hatch, right? So for example, um, Mr. Coco, I use him to rehatch with the Enchanted Armament Lord Levi again to get the um, large Stella. And if you look at the talents here, it did increase again. We got max power, uh, not quite max uh, Thinking Cat yet. But you know it's all good. All right, now for my uh, fourth hatch, I'm gonna use large Stella to um, hatch with my Lord Levi again, right? All right, if you compare stats with Lord Levi, right? So fire that should be fire giver right there. Fire giver is not right there. So pink giver, thinking cat. So we still have to hatch more, obviously, because the stats are not max yet. All right, so we're gonna do the the fifth hatch, right? Alright, now the fifth hatch, I finally got it, right? So if you look at the pedigree, it's 67. Pedigree is 67. So they ha all have the same uh, pedigree, same dots, and you know, all that kind of stuff. And if you look at the the talents that you want, right? So Fire Giver, that should be Fire Giver. Fire Selling, Fire Selling, Pain Giver, Thinking Cat should be right there. And the Critical Striker, all the talents are there, all the talents in the pool are there. Now you look at the stats, they are all max as the same as Lord Levi. So that's how you know that your pets is set and all that. Now once you get your pet to have all the, the same um the same talents, the same max stats and all that, right? Now, you know, there are still a chance that your pet will fail because you know it does have ten um talents. So what you wanna do is that you wanna rehatch, alright? So usually uh, I just come in hatch by myself, and then what you wanna do is that you wanna hatch Lord Levi with Lord Roscoe, which is the fifth hatch on Velociraptor, which got all the talents and all the stats and all that. You wanna hatch it again. Again, the reason why you wanna rehatch again is because you know in case the pet fail, right? So in case I, I fail my pet, I can have a backup pet to you know retrain and all that. So I did another hatch and then, you know I got the Velociraptor and it is just exactly the same as Lady Roscoe, right? So Lady Roscoe and Lord Simon has the same talents, the same stats. So that's how you duplicate stats. And also that's how you are gonna um, train pets as well. So in order to get a perfect pet, you're gonna have to retrain, and rehatch, rehatch and rehatch and you know make sure that your uh, all the talents are there the stats are at the maximum you know given values and all that good stuff you know what I'm saying so all right all right so that's pretty much how you are gonna get your perfect pet all right so again the final review number one step number one get mega snacks number two find a pet that you want Number three, find talents that you want, in the, whether it's in the Kias or from other players. Number four, get max stats, right? That's pretty much the last steps. The five is uh, just you know rehatch and make sure that you know all the talents and you know stats are there. And then yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this dope ass video. Uh, hopefully this you know helps out new players or you know anybody who uh, still doesn't know um, how to how to, how to get perfect pets and all that this is also for the people that doesn't know um, still doesn't know how to use the kias or you know how to use the hatchery because i do come across players that are you know 
asking, you know, can I hatch with your pet, you know, or, or all that, when, you know, obviously the pet is in a kiosk, or when somebody asking, can I, can I hatch with your pet for, you know, that, those talents, and, you know, I'm, I'll be on timer, because I'm always doing pets, you know, you know, and I, I'll tell them that, you know, this, there are these pets in a kiosk too, you just gotta go look, you know, but they, they, you know, they say that it's too hard, or whatever, it is not that hard to use the kiosk, the only downfall is that, you know, it does cost a lot more, to hatch with a pet in a kiosk so I definitely the easiest way to um, make pets is to find somebody that's willing to uh, hatch with you because the costs are a lot cheaper you know what I'm saying alright now that's pretty much it guys for this video hopefully this help out everybody you know again you know I thank you for watching again if I'm not clear on certain um, steps or certain area of the video definitely comment down below uh question me you know i was down to answer and help you guys out you know what i'm saying so all right guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video man peace out and good night everybody Pew. yeah